Hey, and welcome to Tech Tips with Soldo Media. I'm Amanda. I'm Jacob. Today, we're going to show you a quick tip on how to photo stack. That's when you have multiple photos with different sharpness in each photo, sure. and you actually want to bring out different layers of sharpness. So, for example, if I, ha I have a rock we're going to do here that's in focus, we want the background and the foreground in focus, too. Yeah, in the same picture. Yeah. Now, normally, in the old days, this would take me days to do because you'd have to sort of map out on each picture what needed to be taken away. So now in Photoshop 2021, they actually have a, an update that lets you do that really fast. No, an auto. An auto. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right. So uh, we go into Photoshop. We open up a new thing. We go File. We go Scripts. Load files in the stack. Then we push Browse, and then we pick a few. The last 26 to 29, I believe, is a mm -hmm. rock. Open. Do not forget to push Auto Align Source. Yeah, there's two things down here. Auto Align uh, Source and Create Smart Object after loading in layers. You don't necessarily have to do that second one. But the aligning one is because if you bump the camera in one of the shots... Or push the button too hard the second time. Yeah, exactly. Then maybe the edges don't line up quite right as it's trying to align the object. This will make it so much easier for you. Right. You will have to crop afterwards, though, maybe. Yes. If your pictures weren't perfect. But if you had a tripod, it's not much. If you have a remote on a tripod, then you probably will never have that problem. True. All right, so now it's bringing all the pictures in. And we're just going to touch the little eyeball. You can see our pictures down here on the right-hand side. Right. As you touch the eyeball, you can see now the foreground's in focus. Now the, the medium foreground. Medium yes. foreground. The and rock. The background. Oh, the background. Show us where the rock is. There's and there's the rock in focus. All right. So we select all of these. Select. And yep. then we scroll all the way up to edit. Edit. And auto align, auto blend layers. Auto blend layers. There we go. And we're going to run the stack and then push OK. And then we wait for a few seconds and a few more seconds. It's not even enough time for you to go and get a cup of coffee. No. No. All right. So it's telling us that the edges aren't quite lining up OK, basically, here. Yeah. So we yep. say OK. There we go. So now it's that simple. It's, it's being created. Yeah. Uh, if if we just sort of look in here now, we can see that the foreground's in focus, and the rock is in focus, and the trees are in focus. Yeah. yeah. Now, if we go over here and unselect the the, the image that it created for us, yeah. there. you can actually start to see where the software cut away the areas that needed to be uh, mapped over each other, layered over each other, so to speak. This process would have taken forever to do manually. Yes. Now the lines aren't even straight, so you have to go Yeah, exactly. Around. Now we're going to show you an even more difficult one to do. That was a pretty easy one. Yeah. But let's uh, go up to the top. You can leave. Oh, yeah, okay. We're not going to save it. Go up to the top and file. Uh, script into stack. Load script into stacks. Browse, Browse. files. Now we're going to do the top one. And this one is actually uh, some photos we did here just last week. And it's of these ice crystals. So really kind of a macro-y sort of shot here. Make sure we attempt to align it. Align it. Here we go. There we go. And here it's coming in. First one, second one, third one. So already in the first one, you can see that the foreground and the branch are out of focus. That's Jake. Uh, oh, oh, it's still aligning. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I don't want to interrupt it. Oh, no, don't wait. make Photoshop mad. All right. Unselect the first one. Now you see the branches in focus in between those ones. And uh, as you go down, the foreground's in focus. And then a little bit in the back of the branches in focus. So let's go ahead and select all of those. So you want to click on them and shift click to select all. Then edit. Auto blend. Auto blend. Stack images. That's right. OK. Wait for loading. Again, not everybody likes to stack their images. Some people really want that depth, but in this case, it's such a macro image. Yeah. I got that depth of field anyway, but those details are going to come out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like if you do a long, big landscape and do that, it could seem unnatural. Mm -hmm. Still pretty, though. Mm -hmm. Now it's filling. These are all things that you would have to do manually before. Yes. 
but Photoshop 2021's got you covered. All right, so there you go. You can see the branches in focus, the foreground's in focus, and the crystals in the background are in focus, and it's excellent and sharp. So that, it's that simple how to do a, a photo stack. You can see now on the top where it looks like there's some white uh, fuzzy lines. That's because it did align a little bit. So we just crop in just ever so slightly. You don't have to do much. Oops. No, Jake, not like that. Not much. And then check the check mark. There you have it. Pretty picture. Should we do one more? Because we saw in there that there's a panorama. We've never tried this, but we just grabbed outside of the studio. Attempt to automatically align. Let it do have, to, have to let it come in. The most, uh, the most scenic of all. Well done, let's see. It did it, okay. So now go into edit. Oh wait, select all of them, select oh, them. My goodness, select Gotta them. Gotta select them. <gasps> what are you doing? Select. Jake, what are you doing? We've lost control of the tech tips. Okay, we're going to go into edit and auto blend layers. And this time we're going to select panorama. It already knew that's what we wanted to do. It it's told that us that smart. That wanted. It was like, obviously, this is not the other thing you wanted to do. So again, these are things that take you extra time when you have to do it manually. If it works, this is going to be great. I'm going to use this all the time. All right, so it's selected it out. There's our panorama. And then it's sort of made it so that you can see where areas are a little bit weird. But for the most part, that did great. And the center part here seems to be okay. So if you can crop and hit as much as possible. There, right there. All right, check mark. Check it. Check that out. Now zoom in. See, it did work. Ah, other way. Look at that. Pan across, pan across. Other way, other way. You're waving that way. It was weaving both ways, see? So there's a little bit of noise up in the top yeah, there. Okay. You can kind of correct that. Gee, that worked out great. That's actually surprisingly well. All right, guys. So that's it. Photo stacking and panorama. Um, uh, quick tips from Tech Tips. I guess from <laughs> right, us. Right? I hope you guys have a great day. Like and subscribe. Yeah. And stay tuned for more great tips. All right. Until next time. Take care. Yeah.